providing a safe space for kids after two young boys were shot over the summer. The city says it has the money to help construct a new boys and girls club on the west side of town. The total project cost about $3 million. Our Mariel Carbone explains the need and where the money is going to come from. While the areas of East Westwood and Roll Hill have hundreds of kids who live in them, but there are no resources for those kids. That's why neighborhood leaders are hopeful that a boys and girls club can help fill the void, giving those kids a safe space and keeping them away from the violence. It only took minutes, bullets flying, and two young boys, six and eight years old, hit in the crossfire. When a shooting happens, everyone is in an uproar and then people just fall off. It's almost the notion that people really don't care. But community um, leader and council candidate Tiara Powell is hopeful a dedicated space for kids can make a real difference. Definitely think it can make a difference in the future. Monday, city staff announced a proposal to help build a new boys and girls club at the village of Royal Hill a neighborhood adjacent to East Westwood, where the June shooting happened. This is going to change thousands and thousands of lives. $2.5 million dollars will come from the American Rescue Plan and will be taken from unused funds originally allocated to support the convention center. That's in addition to $750,000 given to the project back in 2017. This is just a dream come true. Bill Bresser is the CEO of the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Cincinnati. He says the project has been years in the making. The summer shooting exacerbating the need. There are no resources up there for kids. There's there's no anything. Any act of violence, especially against youth, is frustrating and saddening. Um, I'm just glad that we're here to, to help stem that tide and be part of the solution. The organization already works in the elementary school. The new space will allow it to expand services to preteens and high school kids. Our goal is to just give opportunity after opportunity to build into kids and create self-sufficient adults. Kids need a safe space. A lot of times kids aren't able to be kids at home, and I say this often, but at, our, at the safe spaces that they have, they're able to just let everything go and actually be a kid. And city staff do say they need to double check to make sure it is legal to use those ARP funds for this project, although the law department does believe it is okay to do so. The goal is to have an ordinance drafted up by Wednesday, if not by early next week. Reporting in Roll Hill, I'm Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.